welcome welcome my dear friends myself professor dr rajendra deshpande would like to welcome you all in my ayurveda academy youtube channel by professor dr r r deshpande today's video is again subject kaya chikitsa for the fourth year b a m s students and in this b a m s fourth year we have the topic kaya chikitsa that is parallel to the internal medicine of allopathy okay the topic is again a type of fever or i can say that there are different type causes of the fever one of the important cause for the fever is this particular chikungunya chikungunya the name is very interesting chikungunya so we will discuss this is very short and small but interesting video because this disease is also important for the two aspects one is for the examination purpose but more important is your practice for medical general practice you get a lot of patients of chikungunya and you know what is the specialty of chikungunya that is okay it is controlled it is okay everything is okay but after chikungunya the pain the muscular pain joint pain remains for many months i can say many patients comes to us that doctor i had a chikungunya 6 months back and still i have a backache i have the knee joint pains so what to do with this pains so this is the disease which can give what you can say the sequelae after effects after the disease ends huh? so let us talk about very small discussion about chikungunya a type of the cause of fever jwara in ayurved so let us start the discussion myself professor dr r r deshpande rajendra raghuveer deshpande i have the two post graduations md in ayurvedic medicine that is kaya chikitsa and md in ayurvedic physiology that is kriya shari so you can contact to my ayurveda academy where we work lot of doctors together lot of teachers together and you can whatsapp me for paid online consultation or paid online b a m s classes private tuitions but i request don't call me because of the time restraint i will not be able to attend your call you will have to write down your name address your requirement and whatsapp me i will definitely answer to your whatsapp okay so this video is included in the playlist of kaya chikitsa or internal medicine okay so let us start to discuss about chikungunya this is kaya chikitsa lecture for fourth year bms according to the ccm syllabus paper 1 part b point number 1 is regarding the fever f e v e r in ayurved it is called as a jwara and there is one type chikungunya okay where you get the fever okay so let us start discuss about chikungunya chikungunya cause due to the mosquito bite mosquito bite firstly occur this disease firstly found in africa tanzania in 1952 this is the history of the disease clinical features fever with chill not rigor fever with chill rash on the body here it is also you get the rash on the body body ache especially severe joint pain this is the feature of chikungunya and restriction of the joint movement i have seen some patients who complain that they have started are very acutely they go to the toilet a little bit mild malaise and feverish sensation was there and when they want to get up from their toilet they cannot get up so oh, restriction of the joint knee joint become locked this can occur in the acute phase of chikungunya severe 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 joint pains also there will be headache conjunctival here conjunctival congestion i am sorry there is a printing mistake photophobia you cannot bear the light photo means light and phobia means fever fear i am sorry fear fear to look to the light that is called as a photophobia okay maybe convulsions in children and gingival here gingival bleeding sometimes concomitant together infection occurs of chikungunya with dengue you can see this type of patients where there are both the diseases dengue as well as chikungunya okay next 
investigations you will get leukopenia leukocyte what is leukocyte leuco means white leukocytes mean cyte means cell white cells okay and white cells normal count is 4 to 11000 per cubic mm when that count is below 400 4000 i am sorry 4000 4000 5000 that is called as a leukopenia count is less when count is more what is the word yes leukocytosis but here leukopenia then also thrombocytopenia there are five types of white blood cells don't forget the names this will be asked in the examination okay what are the types of the uh, wbcs white blood cell neutrophil eosinophil basophil lymphocyte monocyte only five types neutrophil eosinophil basophil lymphocyte and monocyte here thrombo there are different types of cell this i am not talking thrombocytes are different thrombocytes are different three types of cell in the blood red blood cells white blood cells and thrombocytes third type of the cells in the in i am taking the revision i am taking the revision of your blood cells red blood cell white blood cell and thrombocytes thrombocyte is not a type of wbc i have already said to you thrombocyte neutrophil you uh, eosinophil basophil lymphocyte mono but this is another cell thrombocyte cells are required to make a coagulation to stop the bleeding to control the bleeding so that particular cells will be less thrombocytopenia so chances of bleeding will be there chances because these cells are responsible to control your bleeding okay igm elisa test for chikungunya you can do the blood test igm elisa test for chikungunya 7 days after disease you must do this test 7 days after the disease him agglutination inhibition antibodies will be seen okay this is a pathological type of the knowledge treatment only symptomatic injection voveron diclofenac sodium this is powerful analgesic pain killer it will stop the pain of your joints or of your muscles 3 ml one ampule is of 3 ml am intramuscular immediate first day come patient you diagnose chikungunya give the injection voveron then afterwards follow tablet voveron 150 mg three times in a day or tablet difficult name idirococcip idirococcip 90 mg morning and evening after food remember after food because that can cause the gastritis okay next chikungunya ayurvedic treatment kapha vata je jwar kapha vata je vat vata drute nasti ruja whenever there is a pain ayurveda says there must be problem of vata dosha whenever there is inflammation there will be problem with pitta dosha whenever there is edema there will be problem with the kapha dosha so pain and vat are related pain and vat don't forget this combination pain is equal to related with vat dosha disturbance in vat bio energy kinetic energy of the body vishama jwara chikitsa these are the principles of ayurveda you have to chikungunya you have to treat with the both way kapha vat jwara chikitsa and vishama jwara chikitsa medicines with bitter and pungent taste tikta and katu ras in ayurveda dry fermentation in ayurveda ruksha swedana okay vilvadi gutika two tablets gorochanadi gutika gutika means tablet two one tablet with amrutarish amruta means guruchi giloya guluvel immunomodulator antiviral analgesic bitter 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 herb okay 4 tsf bd after food 4 tsf with equal amount of what always aswas arishtas are better to be taken with diluted with water okay then what is that vyagvyadi vyagvyadi kashaya 4 tsf with equal amount of water bd before food this is after food and this is before food then if pain is more then you can add kaishoro gugulu 
This is also Amruta Adi Guru. Kaishor means Amruta, means Guruji, Tino Spora Koradi Polia. Remember this name, okay? Two tablet with Rasna Saptak Kashaya. Very nice analgesic in Ayurveda. Rasna. Rasna Saptak Kashaya, full TSF with equal amount of water before food. But this combination is given when there is a severe pain. Sometimes this occurs, okay? Pathya and Apathya are important for Ayurvedic management. Pathya, plenty of boiled water to flush the toxins from the body. Easy digestible food. Sattvik Ahar, very easily digestible. Apathya, don't do. It is not allowed. What not allowed? Pitta Vruddhikara food. Because fever is there. Pitta inflammation, joint pain is there. Pitta Vruddhikara Pitta Prakopak, Ahar and Vihar. Ahar means food and Vihar means lifestyle. Two words. Ahar, food. Vihar, lifestyle. Heavy food, not allowed. Ah, very heavy. High calorie food. Fatty food, not allowed. Very hot, very spicy. Chili, not allowed. Asa Pitida, not allowed. Okay. Deep fried food, very irritating, inflammatory. Cabbage, these are the vata prakopa, cabbage, cauliflower, potato, not allowed. Curd can cause a lot of inflammatory secretions. So not allowed. Don't take the curd. Especially curd should not be taken never even by a healthy person at night. Because it causes a lot of secretions and strotorodh obstruction at night. Okay. Oil basti is not allowed. Oil basti is not allowed because kaffa is also there. Lock, lock. Lock is because of kapha. Always remember. Locking. Locking means kapha. Pain means what? Locking means kapha. Locking. Lock. Stiffness. Stambh. In Ayurveda, locking is called as stambh. Sanskrit word stambh. And stambh is kapha. So, kapha prakopak oil. Anuvasan basti only oil not allowed. You can give dashamula decoction. Niruha basti is allowed. Okay. Ruksha sved is allowed. Snigdha sved is not allowed. Huh? So, this is all about chikungunya, the typical type of fever. Kai Chikitsa lecture, fourth year VMS, PCM syllabus, paper 1, part B, point 1, fever, chikungunya. So, but these are all educational videos. So, Vaidhani Kishara disclaimer, Kaunsi bhi bhi maari mein. Yatha vashak, yatha kaal, Vaidhya ke salale na, bohuthi jirruth hai. If you are suffering from different types of diseases like cerebral palsy, arthritis, motor neuron disease, cancer, that is attention deficit, hyperactive disease, idiopathic, thrombocytopenic, purpura, bleeding disorders, or any such type of chronic diseases or autoimmune diseases, you can definitely WhatsApp to Ayurveda Academy 9226810630 for paid online consultation and paid online BMS classes. I Request all the time, please share this video, like this video, and by folding my hands, don't forget to press the bell icon and subscribe my YouTube channel. I definitely wish all the best for your examination, for your practice, and for the healthy person. What I usually made Sanskrit mantra, Sarve pi sukhina santu. All the people should be happy and healthy. Sarve pi sukhina santu. Sarve santu niramayaha. Sarve bhadrani pashtantu. Ma kashchit dukkham apunyat. I wish you all the best and take care.